Hi friends, are you in the mood for pumpkin pancakes? Me too. Let's do it. So I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients and then the, the dry ingredients and then combine them. So I'm gonna start with my eggs so that I can beat it up a little bit. I have a cup of milk. I have three fourths a cup of pumpkin, and it's the puree. It is not the pie filling. So make sure when you, um, if you try this, that you don't use the pie filling mix. You can just put your dry ingredients on top of this if you want, but I usually mix them together in another bowl and then dump them together so that they're well combined ahead of time. All right, so I have a cup and a fourth of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, three tablespoons of brown sugar, and this is a teaspoon and a half of pumpkin pie spice. Sometimes I do use just, um, you know, small measurements of like cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, that kind of thing. But today I decided to just um, have, have them all mixed together in the pumpkin pie spice. I thought that would make it easier for you guys. But if you guys would like some measurements for the, the individual spices just let me know I can just let me know in the comments and I can uh, put them up for you guys my brown sugar had a few lumps in it <laughs> okay now I'm just gonna dump this over the top of this I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of oil and a teaspoon of vanilla to this before I forget you have a, a skillet heating up for your or a griddle something like that have that heating up for you guys and you mix these until they're just blended you know you don't need to mix it to where it's you know over mixed And like to put a lid on it <clears throat> just to kind of help it cook in the middle as well that might be because I cook them a little thick I don't know but um, you can make them thinner if you like you can also thin down your batter a little bit if you don't like it as thick as what I have here don't you gotta look at it again it's been the bubble in the center and that's good Watch for it bubbling up in the center and then also getting brown on the bottom. That kind of lets you know when it's time for you to flip yours. Also, like to make these up ahead of time sometimes and just put them in individual freezer bags or you know freezer container and just pull them out you know one at a time because they're good not only just for breakfast but for dessert you could serve them with 
you know, pure maple syrup. You can put some pecans in, like even while they're cooking, you can put some pecans in there. Um, you can serve them with whipped topping with a little bit of nutmeg sprinkled on. That's really good too. Well, I usually like to re oil this a little bit. If yours goes to cooking a little too fast on the bottom, then you might you might need to turn yours down like I just did. Because you you do want them to get done in the center as well. Beginning to bubble up as you can see right there. I'm going to give these a taste for you guys. And I'm going to take this one that I've got some pecans on it. Pour some maple syrup on it. I'm going to like some on the side because I like to dip it in there after the fact. That's really good. It's really good. Mm. You guys need to try those. <laughs> They're really good. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.